Uh, so Bright Wall. Uh, it's an next three bucks. Thank you, Bright Wall. They say, dear Tenenbaum, all your Star Trek chat got me into watching DS9. Ooh. I'm on the episode where the Ferengi start a workers' union. O'Brien says he loves DS9 because he used to get so bored on the Enterprise waiting for something to break in the transport room. <laughs> Oh my God, is that actually canon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a proper. He's one of the main characters in uh, DS9. Really? Yeah, yeah. Literally, he's like one of the top five boys. Wow. He's head of like head engineer. Does he get more interesting? Yeah. Okay. He and his and the Doctor go and play um, on the holodeck. They have like a what's it called? Um, the Alamo. They go refight the Alamo all the time. Okay. Um, they're basically they're Tom and Ben who go and play there with their toy soldiers <laughs> right. in the holodeck together. Wow. Um, and then they make friends with a Cardassian spy living in exile who's kind of a, like a Nazi. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you reckon the Tom and Ben dynamic would be made better <laughs> if, if we... had a, a Nazi in hiding friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just have this this pen pal from like Argentina that uh, is a fucking ninety six year old. Would they would they make our chats more fun? Make them more interesting and varied. <laughs> I guess they would they'd spice it up. Yeah, I'd like to hear their hot takes on like fucking berry milk and Data's coom tank. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah. So O'Brien. Uh, thinks this guy's a fucking awful war criminal and should be in jail. Right. And Bashir, the doctor, is like, oh, he's got all these fun spy stories. I like spies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Um, it's a fun, fun pair. Which one, which one am I in this uh, example? Oh, am I don't I know. The... You can choose. It's up to you. We've loaded the bases a bit. Um... Who's out of O'Brien and Bashir? Bashir. Which one's more Tom? Which one's more Ben? Um, In your call. O'Brien's kind of the more serious one, and Bashir's the kind of fancy boy. So neither of us are either of them. Yeah, really. I don't really feel like <laughs> serious or fancy are the like good ways to describe either of us. Um, people think that Ben is the fancy one. They have a saying in Spain, ask not a man's salary, a woman's age, or an Argentinian why they have a German surname. <laughs> <laughs> it's just polite. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good line. Yeah. Uh, no, I fucked this up already. Is O'Brien's wife still with him? Yeah. I she, do not understand their relationship. She nags quite a lot. Okay. She's very naggy. Right. She's not a good character. She's a bit like Skylar. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's always like, why? Why aren't you spending more time with me and the kids? I'm fucking doing spaceship stuff. Yeah. We've got to refight the Alamo. <laughs> We've got to refight the Alamo. Okay. <laughs> sure. If he's done that for the like, 50th time that week. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, you're getting a bit too into it. Yeah. Who do you want to marry here? Me or Bashir? <laughs> oh, God. Wow, poor. What's the name? Ke Keiko. Keiko. Um. And I do kind of feel bad for O'Brien because everything on Duke Space Nine is fucking broken. Oh. So it's an old Cardassian like, occupation station for subjugating the Bajurans. Right. It had like mine, um, slave labor and mining workers on it. Oh, shit. And when the um, Cardassians pull out because they've given up on trying to like hold Afghanistan, okay. um, the Federation comes in to like help the con help the planet redevelop. And they take control of the station, but the Cardassians have just fucking left this in a right state for them. Oh, shit, you know I mean? okay. It's, it's all shit Cardassian computers that haven't been maintenanced or have all the right parts. And uh, O'Brien is just constantly just going, oh my God, everything's broken and the worst. <laughs> okay. Sounds fun. It is quite fun. Although I've literally not seen it for 20 years, so it probably doesn't hold up. But I enjoyed it. And after about season two or three, it starts having like actual arcs. Yeah, that sounds kind of, of fun. As long as they're good arcs. Yeah. Well, there's like a new race that invades the whole galaxy and all the Romulans, Klingons, and everyone have to like gang up and work together, even though they don't really like each other. Who's Dax? Dax. 
Um, she's the science officer. Someone said I would be Dex. Okay. She's, um, she's got this worm in her head that lives forever. And like when she dies, someone else gets the worm. Okay. And it carries over like part of her. Part. So this, this worm that's Dax has been in like 15 different people and lived for like a thousand years. Right. Okay. And you, when you get it when you're like 20, if you're past the test, then you get the worm put in your brain until you die and then they put it in someone else. And it kind of merges with your personality and you have all of their memories from all their past lives, but also you're still half you. Okay. And you're this blend of like 15 people. Right. Um, it's weird. Do they remind you of me? Yeah, you're like a confusing combination of 15 different people. <laughs> 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 um, right. Okay. She's pretty cool. But then... Um, they put the worm in someone else, and she's not as cool. Oh. A bit disappointing. Oh. Got it. You want to be careful fucking signing the contract. Like, well, you're not going to sign a contract when you play that character. They keep you fucking freelance. <laughs> yeah, because you, have you to could behave. be replaced so like, at oh, any possible time. Uh, we can keep your character in this, and we can get rid of you in a fucking second. Mm -hmm. I think there might be a... Um, Whatever her species are called in Next Generation, one episode. There's a thing where there's like a a guy. He falls in love with Crusher, I think. Does he have like tattoos around the side of his head? That's their thing instead of a nose. Okay. They get just weird tattoos on the side of their head. Maybe. Oh, Trill. That's it. There's one where, like, he is, there's a guy, like, a crusher and this guy fall in love, but then the guy fucking dies or something, or is, and it turns out that there's this, like, thing in his chest, like a fucking bug, mm -hmm. and it has to briefly get put into Riker, I think. Okay. This might be the same To keep it alive. Deal. But then they send a replacement out. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like it's like some fucking like twenty year old girl, mm -hmm. and it gets put into her. But it's still like Beverly, I'm in love with you, and she's like, uh, it's also, weird I now. Think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that she does. She fuck Riker when he's got the fucking bug in him. Really? God, he literally won't miss a chance, will he? Even when he's not in control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do they have sex? I can't remember. Maybe they don't. But they definitely like. Make out. Stab him on the phone, like on the ground. I want to see if that actually works. Okay, I'll try. I'm really curious. I make no promise. Yeah, maybe I'm just like projecting, thinking that Riker is just a dirty dog. Uh, but they I definitely mean, like. It wouldn't be a problem if it didn't fucking jeopardize the ship every fucking time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, do what you want on your own time. Yeah, like go Fuck. to the holodeck. Go to mega orgies. Does not yeah. matter. Go as on shore leave. Just don't bring it back and interfere with your job. Well, I don't know. He did go to a rice room and bring the fucking game back. Well, exactly. That's my uh, point. Just keep, leave it. Leave it on riser. What happens on riser stays on riser. Why are there no STDs in space? I'm pretty sure. I probably cured them. Just get no. crushed to go. Wasn't there <laughs> one? <laughs> Didn't. Or maybe I'm just imagining. I'm just writing my own fucking Star Trek fan oh, fiction here. Oh, Tom's fan, sexy Star Trek fan fiction. There must be a fucking episode where one of them gets an STD. There must be. Have you ever watched The Orville? No. You might like it. What is that? It's um. It's all about space STDs. No, it's um. It's a space sexual health clinic. Like it's DS9. <laughs> and every week, a different alien comes in with a different fucking, um, fucking thing. Yeah. And they've got a, like, oh, the Quaglonians come in and he's like his 18 fucking armed barbed dick. But it's got, like, mold growing on it. And they've got to, like, oh, do the adventure and work out what's wrong. Yeah, it's like House, but with alien STDs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Every week. Right. I'd watch that show. <laughs> okay. Sounds amazing. <laughs>